Friends, let us rise and shine as we affirm our faith through the affirmation of faith found in the sidebar of your bulletin. Christians, what do you believe? We believe in one God who is creator, maker of all we see and all we don't see, who is ruler of the universe, source of all creation. We believe in one God who is Jesus Christ, God from God, light from light, true God and true human. He is one with the Creator, the Word made flesh, our Messiah, Savior of all creation. We believe in one God, who is Holy Spirit, breath of God moving amongst us, who is one with the Creator, one with the Christ, our comforter and our guide, sustainer of all creation. Amen. You may be seated. I welcome Elder Karen Buttry as she comes forward and offers us a moment of shine. Good morning. Everyone get their props out. Although I wish mine had a little reading glasses in it, but I'm, I'm gonna go with it. So please join me. You may have heard it's time to shine, or you could say that it's our time to shine for our place, this place, Second Church. When I was invited to speak about a time when God's light had shone in my life, there were many times I had time to reflect, time to think about this, and it was really hard for me to choose. However, I did think back to the year 2017 when there was a year in my life when I was asking myself where God's light was because I was in the darkness. The year started off after New Year's, the first week in January, and uh, uh, with a surprise of breast cancer diagnosis. And before the year was over, there were other um, darknesses in my life that year. God called our little dog Sam home to Rainbow Bridge. Um, and then God called my dad home, and before the year was out, he called my mom home too, all wrapped in his loving arms. You might ask, where's God's light in all of this? I certainly did many times. But when I stopped to think about it, there was light everywhere. I was blessed with great doctors that helped me through surgery and recovery. I have three older, stronger brothers that also led me and we all grew stronger and closer together. My husband was also there. My family was there. This church was there with me as well. God was there with me, walking right beside me, holding my hand the entire way. This church was with me with prayer, messages of hope, support, love, and care as I made my way through 2017 and stand here today. So as you prayerfully consider your contribution to the fund, general fund this year in our stewardship campaign, I would ask you to sit and think about where God's light is shown in your life. Is it the little things when you walk in the front door here at Second or if you walk in the north door at Second and there's someone there with a smile at the door? Is it the passing of the peace, the presence you feel of God? Is it the quiet prayer? When I walked in earlier this morning, there were several people sitting quietly in prayer as the beautiful choir was practicing for today. All these little things add up to big things when we all cult cultivate hope in our lives. Our place, this place, Second Church, relies on the faithful contributions from all of us, whether they are big, whether they are small. It takes just under $5 million every year for this church. Yes, that's a lot of money. But together, all of us can cultivate hope. It's our time to shine. And I invite you to join me on October 27th with your pledge and tell your story about how you can shine God's light on the world. Thank you for being a congregation of generosity, not only to each other, but to our community and our world. Thank you. As we gather together to pray this morning, it is with deep sorrow that I inform you of the death of Pamela Sue Kramer and Bob Rattan. 
Please remember the families of Pamela, Sue, and Bob in your prayers. A service for Bob Rattan is this Thursday, October 17th at 1 p.m. in the sanctuary. Calling will be before the service at 11 up till the time of service in the parlor. Please join with me in prayer. Shine on, O God, in splendor and in glory, and let our attention be claimed by what you have to show us. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear. Let us know your actions at our place of work, at our kitchen tables, and in our offerings of prayer. Help us, O God, to let the light of Christ shine from us in what we do. May we be sources of light for others who suffer from anxiety and depression. Grant that we may serve as messengers of your grace for loved ones and friends whose lives have been darkened by illness, who are at this very time walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Breath of God moving among us, holy comforter, shine your light on all those who mourn the death of a loved one. We lift to you the families of Bob Rutan and Pamela Sue Kramer. Sustain them in this time of sorrow with your holy peace. God of grace, we offer our thanks for all those whose life shines with the gift of new life, for those who have let us trust their faith when ours was full of doubt, for those who have been a beacon of hope when we were hopeless, for those who have shown us light when we were surrounded in darkness, for all those we name and remember who have sowed their kindness and love in our lives. In this moment of prayer, we ask that you would help us to do likewise. As others have shown us what a life of faith looks like, so might we reflect this light to each person we meet. You have lavished your love upon us, O God. Let it be that the lives we live might readily show your love. For we know, source of all creation, this is the time to shine. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, who came that we might know what a life of love looks like, and who taught us to say when we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the, glo and the glory forever. Amen.